What? Did I hear it wrong? Jang Wan Young and G Dragon are dating? You won't believe the reason for this rumor. It's because G Dragon used Wan Young's sticker for his post on Instagram. So on October 6, The Big Bang's leader posted a clip on his account to thank for the gift that the luxury brand Miu Miu gave him after the Paris Fashion Week. Notably, in the clip, he used Jang Wan Young's sticker, who is the brand ambassador of Miu Miu. Netizens believe that G Dragon chose the sticker himself and purposely put it below the word lovely. In addition to this, the male idol seems to have a recent interest in Miu Miu, when he's known for being a representative of Chanel. The dating rumors of G Dragon and Wan Young quickly captured the attention of all Korean media outlets and online communities. While some highly doubted the accuracy of this news, many netizens have already left hate comments on G Dragon's post, criticizing him for targeting such a young girl like Wan Young, who is only 18, which is 16 years younger than him because G Dragon is 34. As a result, fans immediately stood up to defend their idol. They expressed their rage on social media platforms and trended the hashtag #FreeGDragon to ask people to spare him from ridiculous dating rumors. Fans also called out YG Entertainment as the agency keeps doing nothing about their artists' dating rumors, letting G-Dragon's name and image continuously being destroyed by those malicious accusations. Well well well, so it turns out Crush is not the only one being bashed for his alleged racism against black fans, but BTSJ Hope also got entangled in this controversy after it's reported that he liked Crush's explanation post on Instagram. The fuss started when yesterday, a fan posted on Twitter accusing rapper Crush of discriminating against her two black fans. She was extremely upset and angry with the rapper's actions towards her black roommate and said that she would not hide anything anymore, and would speak up so that everyone can see Crush's real personality. According to this fan, when exchanging with the audience, Crush happily touched hands with fans under the stage. However, when he saw two black fans, he quickly withdrew his hand, made a no sign and then continued to touch hands with other fans. It looks like he was taken aback by the darker skin color of that fan and instinctively reacted. That black fan was said to be very sad and depressed because she was a longtime fan of Crush. Currently, the video capturing that moment went viral on the internet, stirring up a rage among the black K-pop fan community and international fans. Drowning in such terrible criticism, Crush immediately released an apology on his Instagram, saying his action was taken out of context, and it was a total misunderstanding. He wasn't doing a no-sign for rejecting touching hands with those black fans. What he did was warning them to stand back because they were standing too close to the fence and that was not safe. This is another video where he did the stand back sign right before that. Still, the OP of the first video has refuted Crush's explanation, and netizens continued bashing him and labeled him racist. If this is true, Crush's career would be doomed and God knows what Joy would feel about this. However, looks like BTS, J-Hope doesn't lie among those who believe the OP it's reported that the male idol pressed the like button on Crush's explanation post, and this immediately led to another wave of criticism towards him. Netizens think J-Hope was trying to defend Crush from such a serious accusation, and also labeled him racist. Until now, no other relevant statements from either artists or their companies have been made since this article's release. What about you? Do you think Crush really refused to touch hands with those black fans, or is it just a huge misunderstanding? Moving on to another controversial news today, Dives are frustratingly demanding an apology from the Fact Music Awards after this awards organizers suddenly interrupted IVE mid-performance in the most unacceptable way. So recently, the infamous girl group IVE made an appearance at the 2022 Fact Music Awards and was one of the most anticipated acts. However, while IVE was in the middle of their afterlife performance, a staff member was seen rushing on stage and asking the girls to leave the stage. While the poor girls still had no idea what was going on, all the stage lights suddenly turned off forcing them to stop performing. When the members waved to fans while walking off the stage, the lights were still jet black. Some speculated that it was not a stage accident at all, as all live members did not appear overly surprised by the interruption. The Fact Music Awards had planned to air a pre-recorded performance of IVE, so they shooed the girls off stage amid the performance in order to continue it with a pre-record. But isn't this way of working so unprofessional? Due to this, Fans are demanding an apology from the award show for not allowing IVE to complete their performance although they spent time in their schedule to attend. Anyway, leaving the fuss behind, IVE has officially won two awards, Artist of the Year and Rookie of the Year, solidifying their superstar rookie status. Congratulations to the six girls. That's the news for today. Do like, share and subscribe to KBiz Hub if you don't want to miss the juiciest news next time. Bye bye.